It's time for a selfie and time to have a look at the new DC Collectibles DC Cover Girls Batgirl Joelle Jones statue. Eisner Award-nominated artist Joelle Jones brings her unique style to the DC Cover Girls line with this premier 9-inch poly resin Batgirl sculpted by Jack Matthews. Limited to only 5,000 pieces, this dynamic version of Batgirl displays Jones' uncanny ability to capture energy and expression. Before we have a look at the statue, let's figure out how tall it stands. So taking it from the bottom of the base to the top of Batgirl's boots, the statue stands at 9.8 inches in height. That works out to be, in centimeters by the way, exactly 25 centimeters. When you get the statue out of box, you get two parts, the Batgirl and the base. We'll look at the base first and then I'll show you how Batgirl attaches to that. The base is a slightly curved circular base, pitch black, with an inner yellow circle. The artist down below, Joelle Jones, has signed the work, or at the very least, her signature has been recreated down below here. And what's neat, though, is that the circle as well as the signature are recessed. You can actually feel like the little, little crevice in which that has been etched into the display base. Flip it around and the base underneath, you're treated to four felt feet along with the number in which this is out of the 5,000 copy li limited release. This so happens to be an artist proof um, as provided by DC Collectibles. So normally there would be a number right there. It just happens to say artist proof, 19 out of 5,000. Now to attach back girl, she has a peg on the underside of her cape and a peg on the underside of her hand. The pegs seem to be the same size although one does look a little bit bigger. The reason why I say that is you could have the statue facing this way if you wanted to, hiding the, the signature if you wanted to. Sometimes based on the size of the pegs, the statue will only face one way. Here you could in theory face it either way if you wanted to hide the signature, but the artwork is just so good, you would want to present the statue with the signature fully visible. So you can just slide those right down and you've got yourself the finished Batgirl statue. The statue here depicts Batgirl standing on her one hand with the other hand taking a selfie. It's a really neat dynamic pose, something you normally see with a lot of statues. It also is very misleading because you think a lot of the weight is being supported only on that one hand, but because the way that they've sculpted the cape, the cape really does primarily most of the work of supporting this specific pose for Batgirl. It really is a neat look, and I especially like the way that she's got her legs extended outward like that, taking a photo of herself. In case you were wondering, by the way, there is nothing on the phone itself. It's just a black screen. However, they did paint that little white on and off button at the bottom of the screen. It would have been neat if they had added uh, like a little sticker on there showing just her reflection coming back off, off the phone there. But really the focal point for this, the phone is really just the accessory. What really draws your attention to the statue is the face sculpt, which is an absolutely gorgeous 
gorgeous present presentation there of Batgirl. I love the expression that they give in her face. Really big, big, bright eyes. Big, happy smile on her face. Paint is very clean. See that they've even put like little reflections off of the eyeballs there. There's nice warm tones that have been added to the skin tone there of her face. Love the flow also of her cape. It's a nice contrast because the black of her cowl is so jet black. They've added no additional paint to it. I'm actually really glad that they didn't add extra paint to the cowl. Adding a little bit of, say, blue highlights, for example, I think would have detracted from the fact that the black does such a good job of contrasting to the lighter, fair skin of her face here. This, by the way, is one of my favorite Batgirl costumes. I've always loved the purple with the very bright yellow, very reminiscent of the Yvonne Gregg Batgirl of, of the old uh, classic Adam West Batman series. So here we have the very traditional purple jumpsuit, a full zippered jumpsuit with the accents there of the yellow utility belt and the yellow bat emblem. Some nice additional silver has been added in there to where the front zipper zips up and they've even got a few little zippers there also on the side of the utility belt. Of the sculpt of the boots too, the boots have been given a slight more of a sheen to it versus say the more matte color of the emblem and uh, the utility belt. The, the boots are a little on the more shinier side. I love the fact that they've deliberately sculpted like the lace wrapped around the top there leaving the exposed looplets unlaced this is actually the case on both of the boots and they've even gone and sculpted the under treads of the boots which is really neat a neat little added bonus speaking of added bonus don't know if you can see it or not but there's actually even a bat emblem on the treads right there love this sort of pearl colored yellow that they've added to the interior of the cape. It's a real drastic departure from the otherwise light lemon yellow that they've added to like primarily the most of her body. Now there's three different like yellows making up the the suits. The yellow in the utility belt as well as the belt uh, pocket on the side there is a different yellow than the boots which is a drastically different yellow than the bat emblem which is a little bit lighter and then it's different color all all together to the interior there which is almost more like again like a metallic yellow it all works quite well together against the backdrop here of her purple jumpsuit not only do I really like the pose of this statue but I also like the flow of the cape the cape kind of blows out and points off to the side here. It does give it a sense, a natural look to it. It also doesn't look like it was intentionally sculpted to basically support the weight of the statue. It really does look like, based on looking at the statue, that all of the weight is being held solely by this one hand. It's really very successful from DC Collectibles here. You know, when I first saw images of this statue surface online, I knew it was going to be an impressive statue in hand, but I didn't realize how impressive until now physically looking at it. I really like this statue. I really like this statue a lot. I might be biased for saying that as well, because I know I'm a big fan of this particular costume and look of Batgirl, but I don't think it's just that. The expression on her face, the sculpt on the body, and just the flow of this particular statue really makes it stand out versus some of the more museum poses that some of the other statues have been released in. This is a really dynamic Batgirl, and I'm loving the pose that they've put her in. It's also a bit of an optical illusion because you're, like, you're looking at it, and you're thinking there's no way that statue could be supported simply on one arm. Well, it really isn't. It's balanced between the cape and the arm, and I have to tell you, physically getting it in hand, there is definitely a stableness to the statue. I don't feel like it's wobbling, it's not moving around. I feel it's going to look just as good now as it's going to look good later on shelf. I really can't stress getting this figure, this statue enough. If you're a Batgirl fan or really just any DC fan, this is one of those statues you definitely want to pick up and put on your shelf because you're really going to be impressed once you've got it on display and you can look at it from time to time. That face sculpt alone sells me on this statue. Well, there's a whole lot that sells me on this statue. Like I said, highly recommended if you're a fan of Batgirl or really any statue fan. You might want to definitely pick this one up and add it to your collection. Today, we were having a look at the DC Collectibles, DC Cover Girls. This is the Joelle Jones Batgirl statue. 
really a spectacular site. Hopefully, this review has done it justice. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other DC collectible statue reviews, don't worry, don't worry. There's a playlist designated just for those, and they're categorized depending on what your fancy is. If your fancy is checking out more of these videos and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Also, when you're finished, make sure you head over to the main page. Yeah, that's right. Check out some of the other videos that I've posted along the way. Future videos will be able to be found there. And of course, all the previous videos that have uploaded up to this point, you'll all be able to find right there in colorful, splendid thumbnails. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I always like reading your comments down below. If you're new also to this channel, let me know. I'd like to say hello. Just say I'm a new subscriber and I'll say hello. I may offer you a ham sandwich or a soda, a beverage, if you will. But uh, let me know down below if you're a new subscriber to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.